Hello, my name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer with GoEngineer. And today we're going to take a look at how we can storyboard our animations from our view palette to our animation timeline. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with our default starting point. So we have our first image and maybe our first camera. And the idea here is that we want to translate and rotate as this knob unscrews. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the knob, activate my rotate option, and then choose to rotate this uh, somewhere between 180 and 170 degrees. So if I rotate this way, it might illustrate an unscrew, versus this way, screwing it on. So I'll settle for about 175 degrees, and then I'm going to go ahead and select the components that are being moved, and translate those a small amount. Now that I have the new locations for all these components, I'll go ahead and capture a new view. If I transition back to the first view, what we should see is the closed position, followed by the unscrew in the second view, and now a partially open position. We're going to repeat this process until the whole thing's open. Again, selecting the knob, rotate, verify that you're going the same direction as you were last time. followed by the hardware, knob, clamp, and translating those out another open distance, partially open distance, and capturing the view. And one more time. To complete the open process. Now starting from the first view, the second, to the third, and the fourth, we can see the knob rotate and the clamp move open. It's also kind of cool too, is we can use the play button here at the top, and that'll cycle us through these views without us having to click. Makes it easy when you're telling a story to a colleague, maybe. Perfect. Now to use these in the timeline. We're going to start off by taking our first view, dragging and dropping it at the zero time marker. Our second view, dragging and dropping it at the one second time marker. Third, at the second time marker. And fourth, at the third time marker. Click and play, we can see the animation. And our clamp operation is completed. Keep in mind that each one of these cameras is essentially just the initial camera reused over again. If you wanted to move this, you could delete the two inner cameras, let's say, capture a capture a secondary camera view, and then drag and drop that in at those two intermediate time markers. Playing the video back, we'll start at time zero with the initial camera translate to the secondary camera, hold for a duration of time, and then translate back to the third camera, or the initial camera, rather. Storyboarding is a real sure way to organize your thoughts, and I find it's also a really good initial way to learn how to do animations in Composer, as you can go back to your various views and make any edits or changes necessary, and then just drag and drop them over the view that you've created initially to update the timeline animation. Storyboarding is also especially efficient when you have multiple objects you need to move at the same time. Break each one of those components up into their own group, create the views for the group, and then combine them in the timeline after the fact. I hope you enjoyed this video on storyboarding inside of Composer for animations. If you like this video, please subscribe, and be sure to visit GoEngineer.com for other great content. I'm Adam Hughes with GoEngineer. Thanks for watching.